This season, Berkeley captain put up 54 goals and 116 points in 68 games. That's one of the best productions for a draft eligible player in the last 20 years. Catton back on the ice. Berkeley ties it up! His second goal of the night! Every game, he proved that he's one of the best offensive talents in the class and a special prospect. There's one aspect of his game that he has mastered above everything else, and that's rush boy. If someone wants to learn how to score off the rush in junior hockey, he's the player to watch for that. Here's Catton driving the net, put on goal, shot scores! He can pull off every trick in the book and do them very well too. Catton is a great skater, especially in crossovers. He can pick up a lot of speed as he runs through the neutral zone. But even more than his skating, it's his stick and link skills that stand out. He can handle the puck very well at top speed. He keeps the puck on the heel of his stick, rolling it back and forth as he moves through defenders. Play by Catton, oh. and puck is loose and SCORE! It. He has a high grip on his stick, and his head is always up as he skates. This enables him to slide the puck in tiny holes in the opposing coverage, and get it back the other way. And he doesn't over stick handle. When he gets near defenders, he only touches the puck as often as needed to get it around sticks and in a position to shoot. By far, his biggest talent is making defenders miss. Nice. Again, a delayed penalty coming up here to Kelowna. Remains in center. Canton, he'll move in. Left face up. Dot. He'll fire and he'll score! He keeps a deceptive posture with the puck at his hip in a position that enables him to pass or dangle in an instant. And he loves baiting defenders by presenting the puck to them and pulling it back in a way at the last second. Catton reads body cues very well. He sees defenders moving their arms, hips, and shoulders to initiate a poke check, and he reacts and adapts instantly. He also spots vulnerable defenders and opens gaps in their coverage. When they're off their angle, he cuts counter to their feet and gains the middle to access better plays. Chips it ahead, roulette with it, over to Catton, Catton right side, turns, fires up and out, can't, Chiefs keep it in, and now it's right out to center ice. Chiefs, quick turnaround here though. Catton back on the ice, Berkeley ties it up! In general, he's a middle driver. He understands that the best plays open up when you drive to higher danger areas. Can will get the puck. Crampton, DeLuca, here comes Catton. Catton making a move up the right side. Back but Catton avoids driving in straight lines. He weaves through the neutral zone and the offensive zone, forcing defenders to constantly adjust to his movements. He goes outside inside or inside outside, shifts opponents and attacks what opens. Just look at how he prepares this dangle. It's a slight change of direction, but it's enough to make the defender shift his weight, turn his feet and lift his stick. And Catton inserts with the perfect dangle. Same here, he drives from inside to outside. It's not a random move. He wants to shift the defense further to open space to cut back into and shoot. And he can also change speed, slow down and accelerate to manipulate his gap with defenders create space and reach teammates or shoot. Catton can react fast, but his best moves are planned in advance. He has a few clever tricks. His main one, the outside-inside move as he cuts through the face-off circle. It's very effective. He drives wide of a defender, gets past him, moves the puck to his back end, lets the goalie get set based on the positioning of the puck, and as soon as he feels a poke check coming, he brings the puck back at his hip to his forehand and fires under the stick. With one move, he changes the angle of the shot and beats both the defender and the goalie. The move is based on the same principles we saw before. He presents a play, manipulates the defense with it, and changes it at the last second. Those one-on-one -on -one moves are what's most impressive in Catton's game. But it's really his passing game that is the most translatable to the NHL. Catton plays chess. He uses teammates constantly. Sometimes, that's to set up his own scoring chances by bouncing the puck off of them in give and goes. With it ahead for Roulette. Kicks it ahead, right side. Drop pass. Catton coming between the circles to Roulette. Back out front to Catton. Let's go! He pushes defenders back, cuts east-west to buy time for teammates to arrive, creates a pocket of space behind him, and he drops the puck to teammates inside it giving them a runway to attack the slot. And he makes great delay plays. Look at this one. He enters wide, cuts in the space of a defender, and just as the opponent loses balance, he cuts back and sends the puck to a teammate across the ice. And here's another similar play. Catton is ahead of his teammates here, so he slows down to let them catch up. When the opponent reaches for the puck, 
it puts on their brakes and cuts inside. He creates a switch in coverage, or attracts a second defender, and passes the puck to his teammate in the space he created across the ice. This is the kind of play that earns a player a high hockey sense grade in our draft guide. Over Pasternak to Hogan is broken up and Roulette ahead for Catton. Turns, finds Roulette, he's gonna streak to the net, he shoots, he scores! Pop in that water bottle, three, nothing Spokane. Catton has some limitations, like his physical play, but he understands rush hockey at an advanced level, and he has all the tools needed to execute the plays he sees. His many skills and feel for the game will serve him well in the NHL. No matter where he ends up, at center or on the wing, he should be able to dominate the transition game through the middle of the ice and orchestrate complex plays for his team that leave the opposition with no solution. They will only be able to sit back and watch as Catton shifts pieces around and defeats the defense to score. Spokane, Weinstein, pass in behind Catton. Catton gets it anyway, makes a nice move, comes down the left side. Catton now front back in, shoots and scores! If you want to know more about how Catton reads the game, you should watch his game tape with Tony Ferrari. Catton breaks down his own plays and explains his view of offense. And if you enjoy our videos and want more of them, please like and subscribe. You can also check out ePeeringSide.com for more prospect analysis.